with the undeniable DMX backdrop. Enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's been working on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's going to need it. Iron Mike's going to need to be able to stay up high if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10-ounce gloves, landing with 4-ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast, Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Right now, at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Pettis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC goal? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mike Tyson! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the Best in the business, Herb right. Dean is our referee tonight. Right. Right. All right, here we go, early round action with the UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky. And when you want to talk about mixed martial arts evolution, perhaps no man has improved as much over the last two or three years than the featherweight king Alexander Volkanovsky. So much so that his opponent tonight doesn't necessarily know what he is in for. him with the left. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any... And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and to fight over the top with that beautiful overhead. Great punch. Oh, beautiful level change. Big ground and pound. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volker. 
Locked under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, big elbow. Tyson's in half guard. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Volkanovski. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Relentless pressure from the top by Volkanovski. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. He cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Oh, man, another strike gets through. You can only describe his condition as critical now. Waning seconds here of this opening round. Trying to finish this fight. Oh, those last five minutes. Are you kidding me? All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent. to be look from to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities while the crowd continues to react with every passing land but if you're the referee or even the corner somebody's got to get involved out of this. somebody's got to do something it's getting very uncomfortable to watch this and as the crowd gets excited there's also a little bit of that uh, yeah. i don't want to see any more going on in their reactions good work from the top here by volkanovsky Another ground and pound strike lands. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Ninety seconds to go in round two. Well, he's got his back now. Excellent pressure here from top position. Michael. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is done. He's been beat up. He 
got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted in that area. He has not made any, any changes to his defense, so he's continuing down this path. The doctor's going to take a look. Yep, got to be very careful. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Oh, big shots from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh. Round three next. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Tyson's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. Shots that if you take one of them, if you, in the night that one landed right on the spot. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh! oh! Both tough. Both durable. Both unwilling to take a step backwards. What a phenomenal fight. Oh! All right, the referee has stepped in here as expected. He is going to call in the doctor to look at what is a pretty significant cut that he's doing. It's a mess. It's completely a mess, and I'd be very surprised if this fight continues. <laughs> he's looking. Yeah, yep, that's the end of the fight. You knew. you knew it was done right away. So the ringside physician has no choice but to stop the fight. The fans don't like it, but that fighter will live to fight another day. All right, so this one goes into the books as a TKO via doctor stoppage. And Daniel, we will re-rack some of the replays here. A lot of damage sustained and a lot of swelling in that facial area. You know, his toughness should never be questioned after watching this. Every time he got hit on that swollen part, you knew the pain that must have felt, that he must have felt. But hats off to his opponent for causing this damage and making sure he kept going to that area in order to get this fight stopped. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Alexander the Great Bodonowski! All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach.